Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. For this everyday's video, the beer's courtesy of Ross. Thanks so much, Ross. I really appreciate it. I hope you're doing well. Uh, it's Tuesday, and on Tuesdays, I try to test my palate, and there's no better way than doing a mystery beer because I have no idea what it is. Um, so, yeah, let's get into it. You probably know the drill by now if you watch my channel or anyone else's channel who does these. Ooh. Okay, well that is unexpected. Huh. We're gonna have some fun. I, uh, <laughs> I, I'm gonna call that right now, that we, this is going to be a fun one. Um, I can smell, like I say this in a lot of like my um, log, like Pilsner lager kind of videos, where um, I'm like, I can smell the fermentation I can smell some fermentation, like sourness, uh, to it for sure. For sure, not straight up kombucha, but like definitely notes of that. Um, I, I know it's probably like not the most riveting thing to watch me try to dry this, but that was all the paper towels I have. Um, yeah, that paper is not going to be super absorbent. Whatever, we're powering through. So you had all the fingers of head on it. Um, it's got an unfiltered golden kind of color to it. Not, I mean, I guess approaching hazy, but definitely looks like unfiltered. But in all seriousness, right now it's got four fingers ahead. Uh, especially being a Mr. Beer, I, I, I don't want to um, do any, any editing with the camera and like let the foam go down or whatever. So I'm just going to power through it and we're going to have fun with it. Um, okay, so... I guess, let me get a better aroma on it. Yeah, I mean, it has that sour thing for sure. A little bit of lemon, which I'm not, I always get that, you know, so I'm not even saying it has lemon in it, but like when it hits that way, that's what I definitely get. A little floral perfumey fighting through this I mean, like, I don't want to say epically, but like very sour, maybe even almost, like, no, I shouldn't say almost, maybe Brett specifically. A little honey sweetness. So I'm being able to get a little bit more. Look at that lace. I mean, it looks beautiful. I just obviously didn't anticipate that happening. Um, Oh, let's see about the taste. Cheers. So, I mean, not hard to say. I mean, it's definitely sour and tart. I get some of that lemon. I actually get... I'm not saying it has peaches added to it, but I get uh, an unripened peach note as well. Um, like I said in the room about Brett, I, I, it could have Brett in it, but it's, it, it doesn't go it doesn't go full Brett for me either. It doesn't drink you know too huge ABV wise. I'm thinking probably like five ish percent. A little bit of bread. Maltiness as well. Kind of tempted to just kind of like try to like that old school move, which is not working very well. To get rid of some of the the heads, so I can kind of get more to the liquid. Yeah, I mean the way that it looks, it doesn't doesn't help me style-wise too much. You know, it's more wild, actually, than sour. All right, so 5%, someone's wild ale. If it has fruit added, it's not a dominant thing. Again, I'm getting notes of lemon and peach. Some honey. 
you know, not that there's much sweetness, but like some honey sweetness. Tart apple and pear. But again, I, I don't, I'm not saying adjuncts for any of that stuff. 5% wild ale. Wouldn't be surprised if it had any of those fruits, but I'm not, I don't think it does. And same thing with a brat. Like, I wouldn't be super surprised, but I don't think it does. So I guess I'll lock in 5% wild ale. Well, <laughs> okay. This, uh, Mimosa, Vino Blanc, Grapes, Caracara Oranges, Vineyard Ale. So it's, they're calling it a hybrid fruit ale, 5.5% ABV. So, you know, I feel good about the, um, the ABV that I said. Co-fermented with Vino Blanc grapes. I don't get a wine thing. Um, Caracara oranges, I mean, lemon, but again, like I, I thought wild ale and didn't have any adjuncted fruit. Bright, dry, and vivacious. I didn't say dry. I, I mean, I, I kind of, I guess I said, like, there's not a lot of sweetness to this. But, like, the sweetness that's there is, you know, tastes like honey a little bit. So, I guess that's a different way of saying dry, where there's not a lot of sweetness. But, bright, yeah, I mean, it's definitely a bright beer. Um, Dooner? Dooner? D-U-N-E-Y-R-R, -R, Fermenta. Um, I mean, yeah, grapes? Like a very dry white wine, maybe, but like... I, and I, I'm not trying to say anything against this brewery or this beer, but like, is it supposed to be that vivacious of a thing, or is this? I don't want to say off because like it doesn't have a lot of off flavor. Well, unless it's not supposed to be that wild tasting. And yeah, the way the orange hits, I, I, it's lemon. I could have gotten that, you know, from like hops and, and a wild ale. Uh, I've been rating myself, like grading, I shouldn't even say rating, like giving myself a grade. I don't know how comfortable I am doing that for this one. Um, I, I'll i put some information in the description box. Like if this beer is supposed to be how I had it, I did not do very well. But also, and that's what's kind of, I don't know if you've ever done one of these. Not to like talk about this too much. What a weird video this probably is to watch. So kudos to you if you're still watching this. Um... Like, I don't taste any oranges at all. I don't taste any grapes at all. You know, like, I could see, like, a little bit of a white wine thing, fair. Any citrus for me is lemon. Is it a knock that I didn't pull it, or is there not that much in the beer? I don't know, you know? So, like, that factors in as well. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, close on the ABV, that's something. I don't know. Have you had this beer before? And again, look in the description box. I'll, I'll try to find some more information about this beer and put it down there. They even have like one of those like little QR codes you can scan. So I'll be doing that. Uh, but anyway, it's Ken Ross. Really appreciate it. This was fun. I I, I don't know. Oh, I don't know how it came across. This was fun to do. I will clean the top of this. I'm not worried about it. I'll get some more paper more paper towels. I'm not worried about any of this. Uh, super fun stuff too from him. So really excited to do those the next couple Tuesdays. Uh, so thanks again, Ross. I really appreciate it. Uh, have you guys had this beer before? Maybe you have had this and you can tell me a little bit about it. Anything, everything, comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews at both of those places. So please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.